Hey guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I want to do a video tonight, and it's not going to be a very quick video because there's actually several steps in this little tutorial I want to put together. Uh, but yesterday I published this pattern, and it's a dome cover for a little electric tea light. Uh, so you just basically set it over the tea light, and um, when the tea light is turned on and the room is dark, it puts out this nice little uh, ray light pattern onto the wall behind it and glows nicely. So had several emails about this. It was actually a pretty popular uh, pattern and in the pattern book that you download uh, there are several different inspirational type words that are across the upper dome of this uh, candle cover and I also put one in there that was just blank so you didn't have to have a word there at all if you didn't want to. Well I had at least three emails uh, over the night where people wanted me to either add different text to the circle or if I could show them how to do it they would try to do it themselves. So I want to show you in a program called Inkscape which is a free vector graphics program that you can get at inkscape.org that's i-n-k-s-c-a-p-e dot o-r-g and that program is free now I don't use that program to create my patterns I use a program called CorelDRAW and the steps to do it in CorelDRAW are, are much shorter uh, but CorelDRAW is expensive so I didn't want to try to show you in that one I'm going to show you in a free program so I'm going to bring up uh, Inkscape and this is our main screen of Inkscape and the first thing we need to do is we need to import that dome that we want to add the text to into Inkscape so if you've downloaded the PDF of that pattern that I posted you can go up to file import and navigate on your hard drive where the candle dome PDF program or pattern is open it up and that will bring up your PDF import settings. Now Inkscape will only import one page of that PDF and that's all we want anyway so that's fine. So over here on the right you'll see the page that it's trying to import and obviously this isn't the one we want. We want to use our uh, select page number right here to scroll over to this page right here which happens to be page 6. Now it's going to import the whole page and all we need is this little dome right here but if we click OK there's that whole page imported into Inkscape. Now when Inkscape imports a graphic or a page of a PDF it imports everything grouped together. So you can see if we have our pick tool up here selected whoops let me close that down. If we have our pick tool up here selected and we click on it it'll put a bounding box around everything. We don't want everything we just want this piece right here. So with it all selected if we go to object ungroup you can see now we've got bounding boxes around all the individual pieces so we can take this piece we need and bring it over here now we can highlight all these hit the delete key on the keyboard and get rid of everything okay so there's the dome that we need to add the text to so the next thing we need to do is actually put the text on the screen that we want to use so we go over here to our text tool select it click on the page and that'll put our text cursor up there on the screen and now just type in the name or whatever you want to put on top of this arch it could be a family name you know, anything you want it to be would be fine so this is not exactly the font that I want to use I want to use a little bit simpler font so if we go up here and click on this text dialog box up here it brings up the, the uh, text and font page and this is where we can go through and select exactly the font we want. So this is the one that's selected here right now. And what I actually want to use is one called Arial Black. So I'm going to scroll down to the Arial Black font because I just know it's a nice heavy looking font. So I click on Arial. I go down to Heavy. And you can use any font you want. I want to make sure the size is 48. So the font size is 48. And that's what will fit on the top of this circle the way we want it. So we've got Arial selected, heavy bolt black, which can be any font you want to add to it, and the size needs to be 48. And now with this text over here selected, we can hit the apply button and that will change it to this Arial heavy black font that I wanted to use. Okay. Now the next step that we need, I'm going to go over here and click on my pick tool. The next thing we want to do is put this text, wrap it around the top of this dome. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you why we can't directly just put this text on top of this dome and make it work. So don't pay attention to these steps so much because I'm going to go over this in detail when we do it the next time. So to put text on a curve, you select the text and the path you want to put it on. So you get everything selected. You go to text and put on path and it will automatically take that text and put it somewhere on that curve. The problem is it doesn't put it where we want it on that curve. Um, it puts it over here on the side and to get this text back to the top in Inkscape you actually have to rotate the whole thing. Well obviously right now if we double click on this and get our rotate arrows up here and we rotate it we're rotating everything. There's no way to just rotate the text along the curve or at least no way that I know of. So that doesn't work for us. So what we have to do is have an intermediate step. So I'm going to back up now and we need something that we can apply that curve to or that text to that we can then move the text over to this. So I know that this circle is five inches in diameter so I'm going to go over here and select my circle tool and just draw a circle on the screen. Doesn't matter about the size. Come up here and select your pick tool with the circle selected with the bounding box around it. You can go up here to your width and height indicators. And you want to make sure that this is set to inches. If you got it on millimeters or centimeters, it won't work. So make sure you click on this little down arrow, select inches. Now in the width, we can type in five. And in the height, we can type in five, hit enter. And now we have a circle that is the same size diameter of the the uh, dome that we want to apply our text to. So now we can do that same thing we did a minute ago. We can take our text and our circle, select them both, don't select this, just select these two right here. And I did that with my pick tool, click here, drag around both the objects and they're both selected. Now we're going to go up to text, put on path. Now you can see it took our text and put it down here and why Inkscape does this I don't know it seems like it would make sense for it to put it at the top and let you move it from there but it doesn't do that uh, so it puts it over here so now if we rotate this thing uh, we can because we don't care what this looks like uh, and we do on this we can rotate this back to the top then break it apart and put the text over there if that makes any sense so let me show you something that will be confusing at this point and this is what I'm about to do now is is the wrong way to do it but I want you to see this in case you uh, make this mistake so right now we've got the text selected and we got the circle selected and if we click one more time to get our rotate arrows with both of these selected and we go to turn it you can see that the text is not rotating around the center of the circle that don't work okay so what we actually want to do is do it this way. Select both of them, go to our text, put on path. Now click off up here in just the white area so neither one of them are selected. Now click back just on the circle and you can see down here that the bounding box does not go around the text, it's just around the circle. Now when we click the second time to get our rotation arrows, now when we rotate it, the text will rotate around the center of that circle and we can put it up there where we want it. So we got the text where we want it. Now we need to get it from the top of this circle over to the top of this little dome. So what we do is we take the text, pull it away from the circle. Uh, actually, there's a, a one more step we got to go through here that I forgot about. With both of these selected, or I'm sorry, with just the text select, selected, go up to path, object to path. Okay, you don't see anything happen, but it did. And what it did is it turned this into a separate path so we can get it away from this circle. Okay, so now we're not quite ready to put it on the dome yet. Uh, there's another step in here that's very important. Uh, and this is just one of those things you're going to have to watch this video until you remember it because this is the one of the steps that's so easy to forget. With this text selected, we've got to go up to path, object to path. Now it's still selected, you didn't see anything happen, but now if we go to object, uh, before I do, do go to that point, let me bring the circle back over here and we're going to line this text up where we want it before we go to that step. I'm going to back up, make sure that made sense because I, I screwed that up pretty bad. Okay, let's get everything set back up. So now we've got the, uh, the text on the path, we're going to rotate this around to the top, alright, we get it where we want it. 
select everything, or I'm sorry, select just the text, path, object to path. All right, now we can get rid of the circle. Now we go back over here and we do object to path again. Now we can bring our dome over. And what we want to do is we want to line up this text just overlapping the top of the dome. So I'm using the arrow keys. You can use the mouse to drag it around. But all we're trying to do is make sure that the letters touch the top of this circle all the way around. Okay. So now we've got the text lined up where we want it. We're still not quite ready. We got to go to uh, just the text selected. Then if we do object ungroup, now all the individual letters are ungrouped. Now we can click off of that, lasso everything to select all, go path, union, and it will merge everything together. And at this point now, you can see we have the text around the top of our dome. Now, I know that's a lot of steps, and I threw a little bit of curve balls in there on you, so you're going to have to probably watch this a few times if you're not familiar with Inkscape. Uh, I know it's complicated, but unfortunately in this free program, and with my knowledge of this free program, this is the only way I know to do it. I did do a little research to see if I could find an easier way with less steps, and if there is one, I couldn't find it. So uh, I think this is the way it's done. So. Anyway, that will let you now cut this part of the dome out and use it with the rest of that pattern to have your family name or a friend's name or anniversary or whatever you want to put on it at the top of the dome. I'm Steve Good. Sorry that was so confusing, uh, but hopefully you got some good out of it. Catch you next time here at Scroll Saw Workshop.